Hey guys, it's Mookie here, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom sounds you can make for your Tyrannus. So this could be any custom sound you like. Um, the, tip the ones that I'm going to be doing are typically for um, your startup sound, but you can also trigger to make anything else you want, such as uh, low voltage warnings or anything like that. So when you're done with the whole creating process, you're able to make any custom sound clips that you want, kind of like this. So here's a little bit of a disclaimer. I know there's probably better ways of doing this whole process, but the method that I'm using is what works best for me based on the programs that I already had and just my whole way of thinking. Um, it's a little bit of of a process when you're first getting it set up initially, um, but after you get it set up, or for me anyways, it only takes me a few minutes, maybe less than five, just to get the audio, split it, and edit it in Audacity, and then put it onto my Tyrannus. But yeah, it doesn't take that long at all, so and it's also pretty simple once you get everything set up. Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so the software that you're going to need is going to be called Audacity. It's a free uh, audio editing software. Um, so you can find it simply here, audacityteam.org. Just go and download Audacity. And then, I've already done that, so I'm not going to go ahead and worry about that. Um, so when you open up Audacity for the first time, Go ahead and open that up there. Um, typically, you'll see these two boxes that are blank. Um, I've already done this whole thing, so I'll just go ahead and show you how it works. Um, but this is where you're recording from. So you can see stereo recording. So I could select mono if I wanted to. It um, doesn't matter. Um, and then uh, you have the stereo mix. So you see, I have my microphone here. If I selected that, it's going to be recording from a microphone. But since I wanted to record it from what's coming through my speakers, um, from what I'm hearing, um, will be the stereo mix. So if those are blank, in order to enable that, you're just going to type sound here in the control panel. Um, you'll go up here to recording that tab and you'll see stereo mix. If that's disabled, um, you're just going to go there, click properties, and you'll see here, use this device. It'll be If it's disabled, just click enable, hit OK, and that should all be good there. And then it'll be right here. So once you have all that set up, um, you'll just go to whatever file or whatever sound you want to record and for this um, tutorial we're just going to go ahead and do that wubba lubba dub dub that you guys were asking for. I'll show you how it works. Um, so here this is where I got the IDO file from so from wubba lubba dub dub compilation. This is the shortened version. So um, before I get going I'm just go ahead and because I know that that sound bit that I want towards the end. Um, so I'll get to play. <laughs> Audacity. <laughs> then I'll start recording. <laughs> and then I'll stop it there. <laughs> so, after you've recorded that, if you hit play, You'll hear everything that uh, the speakers recorded. Um, so for that, uh, after you've done that, we're just going to edit it real quick. Um, so the way that I do it, I'm sure there's a better way of doing it here. Um, you just come down here to this little bar here. Um, so I think the section is right there. Yep. So we're just going to start it right here. So down here you're going to be the selection start. So we're going to just go ahead and make this all zero all that out. And it's going to go up to the next section. So once you have this whole beginning section cropped out, if you zoom out there, so it's from about yeah 8.84 seconds long. We're just going to cut that, and that takes care of that right there. So if I hit play, it's just right there. And that's the length of the audio. And that's pretty much it for that little section right there. Um, once you've done that, this is probably where it comes into play. If you were to do the mono recording, that's fine. But if you did the stereo, that's okay. You can still edit it here. So to make it mono, um, you just have, click it here, get both of those tracks um, selected. So by clicking that and then just hit tracks, you have the stereo track mono. You're going to click that and that turns that into a mono since the Turn any speaker only has one speaker. That's, that's how it's going to work. So next, you're going to go down to Hertz right here, and you're going to convert that down to 32,000 Hertz. Um, 
and it's the frequency that the transistor prefers. So next, we're going to go to File. We're going to export the selected audio. And we're just going to we'll make this one Lubba. Lubba Lubba. Um, we're going to make that uh, file name. .bab. We're going to save that. And this will pop up here as well. Um, and you'll probably want to save it to your desktop. Make it like that. Just hit OK. And that'll save. As you see, it pops up right here. And if I double click on that, that file is ready on my desktop. And then we'll go ahead and move on. So the next thing after you have that WUB or whatever audio file you want to do in that WAV format, um, you're going to head. We're going to work on our Tyrannus now. So the next thing you want to do is open your or turn on your Tyrannus to bootloader. If you've never done it like that, it's pretty simple. You just have these two trims right here. You're going to push them towards the center, both of them at the same time. For me, I just use my middle finger and thumb, and just push up, and you have it set up in bootloader. Once you have it in bootloader, you'll see write firmware, restore, EEPROM, exit, and then at the bottom you says it says plug in um, USB cable for mass storage. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well. You just plug it into the back of your Tyrannus. <laughs> and then your Tyrannus should be recognized. Now, there's going to be two different separate folders that you're going to want here. So you have Tyrannus F, as you can see here, 512 kilobytes. This is a little bit smaller than what we're looking for here. So you're going to look at the other file. So you have Tyrannus F. For me, I have Tyrannus E, which is the bigger one there. Um, so, And you'll see all these files here. So next, we're just going to click on Sounds, EN, and you have all of these files here. So if you're creating anything here, like for me as well, so for instance, I have, if you're a fan of uh, Ace Ventura, you'll recognize this sound bit real quickly. Play it here for you. I just can't do it, Captain. I do it half the time. So that's what I use if I'm running low um, and my battery is pretty much about to be dead. That way I know I need to fly back in. But yeah, that's that. Um, so you're gonna go into system here as well. So these are all the system system sounds here. So you'll see this tada WAV file. This is the intro um, sound sound bit that you will be that you hear when you turn on your Tyrannus. So for right now, if I double click on it, Wubba -lubba -dub -dub! it's my Wubba Lubba Dub Dub file. So you're just gonna simply drag it. Put it in here, whatever it is. Now for this one, I'm just gonna rename this one to, we'll just call it Rick. And then I'm going to retitle this one as Tada, T-A-D-A. -A. Enter that, and then that's going to be your new um, startup intro. So after you do that, you're just going to just power off your Tyrannus and unplug it from your USB. And then, if you've done it correctly, you'll turn it on. Since I don't have my webcam on right now, sorry about that. You just turn it on. And there you go. So yeah, that's basically it. Just make sure you put that tada file, or whatever that WAV file, into that systems folder, um, or else it's not gonna work. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. I know it's a little bit long of a process. Um, sorry about that. Um, you might be able to find other ways. Just make sure um, you're able to get that audio off computer somehow from YouTube or whatever source you're using and then make sure you get converted to that WAV file. Um, so use any programs you like, iMovie, um, using GarageBand or whatever those are. Um, and yeah, and hopefully that works out for you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too complicated. Um, please leave a like if you did enjoy it, share it, um, subscribe if you'd like to. Um, 
I just, it's just a whole new thing for me. So hopefully I can get a few more subscribers and make a bit more content. I'm kind of a bit busy with school right now, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and if by chance you're just a little bit too lazy and you just want that wubba lubba dub dub file, um, go ahead and send me a message um, through through uh, through YouTube. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to find messages, or you can find me on Instagram if you'd like, and just message me there. Uh, my Instagram tag is underscore Muki, so M U K I, and then two underscores after that. Um, and that's basically it, and I'll leave links in the description for all of these websites that you can find. Um, but yeah, thanks again, guys, for watching. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks.